Good evening. Welcome to St. Sebastian. Please stand for our opening hymn, number 665, Healing River of the Spirit, 665. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Thank you and welcome. We conclude our Christmas season with the feast of the baptism of the Lord. He enters into the waters of the Jordan River and comes out to begin a ministry to proclaim that the kingdom of God is at hand. We come to experience that kingdom now in the celebration of the Eucharist. To prepare our hearts, let us first call to mind our sin and ask the Lord for his mercy. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord Jesus, you are the beloved Son of the Father, Christ, have mercy. Christ Lord Jesus, you come to us now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you. 
and let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant, we pray, that we may be inwardly transformed through him whom we recognize as outwardly like ourselves, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by a strong arm. Here is his reward with him his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. i 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age. As we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our God and great Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I'm not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. That's my really poor impersonation of waiting online at the car wash. <laughs> some lines we have to be on, some we don't. Some we're excited to be on, a line into the concert hall that you're wanting to go to, or a sporting event that you can't wait to see. Other lines not so excited to be on, we hear of a line today in the gospel. People are gathering down at the Jordan River. John the Baptist is there. 
and he's calling people to be washed anew in water in the Jordan. And they're online and they're wondering, we hear they're wondering in their hearts if John is the Christ. There's a feeling of expectation, something new is happening. And they're coming down and they're open to this new beginning. And yet they're wondering, is John the one? Is he the Christ? And John must sense this because he responds by saying, I'm not the one. I'm not even worthy to untie his sandal. But the one who is coming will baptize you with the Spirit, not just water from the Jordan, but the power of the Holy Spirit to come down upon you. The wonder of this image is guess who's in line with everyone else? It's Jesus. Luke has a strange wording in the gospel. The baptism of the Lord is in, is in the gospels and in the Luke's version it says everyone was baptized and also Jesus. There's no description of the baptism of Jesus in Luke's version. It just says everyone came to be baptized and also Jesus. Jesus isn't at the head of the line. He's not doing what John is doing. Jesus is in line with everybody else. A remarkable image. It was scandalous to the early Christian community. Why is Jesus coming down to be baptized by John? But that's the wonder of the God that we come to celebrate and worship and experience here and now. Jesus isn't born in a palace as a royal son would have been. He's born in a manger. Jesus doesn't die some royal death on some bed in a castle. He dies as a common, common criminal on a cross. This is a God who enters into the fullness of the human condition, the messiness of it all with its joy and its sorrow, with its despair and with its hope. And God comes into the world and says, I'm getting online with you. I'm going to be with you. And if you allow me, Jesus says, I'll let you, I'll, 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 you'll experience healing in your life through me, Jesus says. And if you allow me, you'll experience God's mercy in and through me. This is a God who comes into our world and walks among us. And in his walking among us, teaches us what it means to be a child of God. Teaches us what real forgiveness should be when we wound one another. Teaches us what real compassion must be when we just don't care about our friends, but we care about the stranger in need. And Jesus does this by inviting us into a relationship with him through baptism, the beginning of our journey. Many of us as little infants, some of us as adults, have come to the waters of this font and many other baptismal fonts around the world from the earliest days of the Christian community to be washed over, not just with water, with holy water, but with God's very spirit. This Jesus who walked among us, his very spirit now is shared with us through the waters of baptism so that we can enter into that meaningful relationship with him which is as intimate as our next breath. It's a God who says, I'm on line with you. Even at the car wash. Even on line for your COVID test. Even on line with your little one as you take them to their first day of preschool even online at a funeral home for a visitation to share your sorrow and comfort with another person. All those lines in our life that describe who we are and what we experience, it's a God who says, I'm going to be with you in and through that. For through the waters of baptism, God comes into our life and stays with us and says, let's do this together. There is one line that's really important to get on to. And Jesus is not at the back of the line. He's here at the head at this altar. And that's the procession to Holy Communion. This is a line to be excited about. 
This is a procession to desire more than any other procession in our life. Because at the end of that, we come to a God who says, here is my body, here is my blood. Will you take it into your life and let it do what it can do? Beginning with baptism, the Eucharist continues to nourish us on this journey. To give us the strength we need to be the Catholic community that we must be to transform our community and the world. And it all began far, far away on a day when people thought John might be the Messiah. And instead, it was just Jesus online with the rest of them, beginning a ministry that would bring salvation to the world, a salvation we experience now as we gather on this line here to receive the gift of him in this Holy Eucharist. Together we now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. Gather as God's people, we now bring our prayers to the Lord. For the church, may we respond to the call of baptism, living as children of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who minister to others, may they recognize the graces and blessings in the work they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live in the midst of violence, may they be renewed in hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sanctity of human life, from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may they be comforted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Lorraine Clamped, may they be raised to the fullness of life, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your daughters and sons who gather on this joyous feast as we celebrate the baptism of your Son, your beloved one, who comes now to be among us. And so we come to you with these prayers and those which go unspoken in our hearts with the faith and hope you'll hear and answer us through Christ our Lord. Our song during the presentation of the gifts is 903, Baptized in Water, number 903.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, he revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Sebastian, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Thank you. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion hymn is Behold the Lamb, number 939.
Let us pray. <coughs> Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Little announcements. Reminder, our Tuesday morning men's group begins this Tuesday, January 11th at 6 a.m. with coffee and fellowship starting at 5.45 a.m. down in the parish hall. This Friday, January 14th, is the Young Child Play Group. The group is for moms with children still at home and those with older children who would enjoy fellowship with other moms while watching their children play. They meet here in the church nursery the second Friday of each month. Then if you've thought about joining the Knights of Columbus this Thursday, January 13th at 6 p.m., you can become a first degree knight at the Youth Center. Please plan on arriving by 5.45 p.m. Please contact Mark Boylot, our grand knight, if you have any questions. The Knights of Columbus are an amazing group here in our parish. If you've not yet experienced the, the many good deeds that they do and the great fellowship that they experience. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our closing hymn is number 437, Joy to the World, number 437.